Hello again, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity with another quick Silhouette Studio tutorial. Today I wanted to share with you how to add glyphs to modify your text in Silhouette Studio. I know this is one of the things that gets asked quite a bit in some of the online groups that I participate in about when you download this beautiful script font and you try to type some text into Silhouette Studio to use on a project and now you don't have those pretty little flourishes at the beginning and end of your text like you thought you were going to have. So I'm going to type some text and so you see this is the same font as this one up here but it doesn't look the same. And so let's let's zoom in on that a little bit. And I want to be able to add those flourishes to my text. So the way to do that is to go to your text style panel and now you're going to choose the glyphs and this will open up and it'll have all the different glyphs that are available for your font. Now you want to be able to to edit your font so you don't want to weld anything beforehand because you won't be able to edit your text otherwise. So I went back now to my text with my little text bar here and I can highlight the letter that I want to change. Now you want to differentiate between a flourish that goes before your letter and one that comes after. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to find an H and so this is the one that would come after a word so I want to find the one that would become that would come before the word and here we go E F G H, and there it is so once I have that highlighted I can select my H and now it changes it to the one that um, has the flourish on it so I'm going to highlight my O so that I can do the same thing. And I saw those up above here, so let me go to that. And I'm going to select the O. And now it's changed it to the one with the flourish at the end. So now remember, if you want to make your text all one shape, you have to weld that you have these cut lines that are here and you want to cut this all out in, in a group and so um, I'm going to go up here to your weld and you can weld that. And now we'll be able to to edit this a little bit more. Um, I wanted to give this a little bit of a calligraphy flourish at the beginning here where this arch is and so I'm going to double click on this and now that opens up that point editing panel so I'm going to click the point that's at the beginning of this arch and I'm just going to use my up arrow on my keyboard and that'll just kind of give that a little bit more pizzazz if you will and I can do the same thing here if I want And I'm not going to mess around with that a lot, but you can see what, what I mean, and you can play around with it to get the look that you want at the beginning and at the end of your text. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that you'll take a look at some of your fonts and practice adding some glyphs to your text. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.